Okay, so this is the stability ball leg curl. Mm -hmm. um, the starting position is the ball. I like to position it under sort of like heels and calves. Um, mm -hmm. That just gives you an opportunity for it to roll in and roll out. If it's too close to you, so mm -hmm. kind of bring this in more, more. You'll just find when you try to do the exercise, you have a very short range of motion and wonder why. Why is this so hard, right? Yeah. So, so and you, you'll kick. So, and, and if it's too far away, mm -hmm. kind of the same thing. So we'll go far, 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 far. You'll just try the exercise, and you're like, why does this suck so much? Yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm. so. You'll find what works for you, but I like to say calves are supported mm -hmm. and heels are on the ball. That's a good starting position. So, mm -hmm. all right. So the other thing that I like to have is hands are about, let's say a foot from the hips. Then they're your kick stands for this exercise. You can use them. Uh, I'm gonna have Joanne engage her abdominals. I'm gonna make sure that she is looking straight at the ceiling so we don't have any tension in through the neck. Shoulders are relaxed, jaw is relaxed too. Mm -hmm. So the first action is we're gonna have her squeeze through the glutes and the hamstrings and we're gonna bring the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Good, if I know that she's able to maintain this, then the, the next step is we're gonna bend the knees and the ball's gonna just roll in towards her glutes and then she's going to extend and we're gonna repeat. Now for beginners, I like to say, let, we'll put the hips down in the meantime just to reset, get some feedback, how does that feel? Um, Sometimes hamstrings like to cramp with this, so the, the reset of the bottom is nice to give them a chance to just chill. But we're just gonna go right into a, just a straight up leg curl. Okay. Good, so Jillian's breathing, shoulders are down, yeah. she's using her hands, it's not all dependent on the legs. But this is nice because she's got even contraction from left leg to right leg, otherwise the ball, you'd see it sort of travel off. <laughs> she's gonna be like, I don't know what that is. Hip down, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think those are the main things. Again, if your hamstring wants to cramp, take a break. Mm -hmm. Your lower back shouldn't hurt no. during this movement. No. If it does, we're going to reset, mm -hmm. get that core activated again, and focus through glutes and hamstrings. Um, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes calves act up. People go, oh God, I can really feel my calves. Yes. So what are your tips on that? Yeah, some people feel it in the calves. Some people actually will feel it in the shins the as tip, well yeah, because yeah, they yeah. are so much into that dorsiflexion. They're like, well, right, they right, right, right. So they're just contracting the hell out of yeah. everything here. Right? And that happens a lot if I find if people don't have the calves supported mm. to start. Right, okay. They'll start here. This is their point and they'll pull like this and pull it in. Right. And it can get a little fatiguing. Okay. They have so, to find that. That sweet medium. spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they do fatigue, that's not bad or wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just maybe it's an area that's kind of the weakest point compared to the hamstrings mm -hmm. and the glutes. Uh, the other foot positioning I see is the toes, uh, so that they do more. Yeah. Yeah. Like the that they try to grab the ball with their feet. Again, it's um, just excessive pressure yes. going on down here versus and, focusing. And you can get calf cramps. Yeah. A lot when you're <laughs> <in this laughs> right. This is like the middle of the night calf, like the young big toes out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, foot. I like to have the feet kind of relaxed. Yeah. So I will watch to see whether they're like. Sometimes you'll have one foot points and then one foot pulls in, and they don't even know right because they're so focused here. So you know, just something to you know just be aware of if you have a natural tendency to mm -hmm. to do that. Now with the hand positioning. Um, as she progresses and get, it becomes more, uh, she wants it more challenging, we can flip the hands over, so palms face up, pressing the knuckles into the floor. Now we're gonna actually bring in shoulder stabilization mm -hmm. piece. Um, that's one way of doing it. You can bend at the elbow. Hands are just, so now we have reduced stability, more dependence on the core, right? And slide along the floor, right? <laughs> And then the other third option is just to take the arms right off the floor, right? right? You can cross or point towards the ceiling. And now, whoa! <laughs> Fail. Fail. Uh, that's okay. Get so, that's, so as you can see, it becomes more and more challenging. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of ways that we can make this harder. But in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, we'll just work on um, focusing through the hamstrings mm -hmm. for this exercise, so. Yeah. All right, there's your leg curl on the ball. Stability ball leg curl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>